my dream was to be a good Christian and uh, to live a life that uh, my friends will see that they want to be Christians. Well, if I can go back, it was first my father that came from Japan and didn't know any English and didn't have any money. And one day he got sick and somebody brought food to him and cared for him and he was so impressed and found out that she was a Christian and she told him about Christ and Christianity. And he was so impressed and one day he received the Lord and he brought us all as Christians. So I went to church all my life. I found out that uh, I couldn't do everything that I was supposed to do and be until one day uh, a lady came from a church outside of our church and wanted to minister to the young people. I was about 12 or 13. And she told us about Jesus and that uh, we were all sinners and we need Jesus. So I told her, no, I'm not a sinner. I've come to church all my life and, I, and my daddy gave me a Bible and so I'm a good Christian. But when she told me that we're all sinners, I, I thought, no, I'm not a sinner. But after going home and praying about it, the Lord spoke to me and said, you have a lot of faults in your life. You have done this and done that and you told lies and you weren't always kind to people and you didn't love people, you didn't forgive people. And I thought, oh, that's right. And one day she asked me if I would like to have Jesus come into my heart and change my heart and be a, a savior from sin and help me through this life. And I said, yes, I want that. So that's how I became a real Christian. You know, uh, when you become a Christian, there's somebody that always tries to oppose you and hates you and uh, tells lies to you and that's Satan. And he came after me all the time, trying to discourage me and trying to say, everybody else is doing that, so you need to do what they're doing. And so one day the Lord spoke to me and said, if you're a Christian, you need to read your Bible. And I said, well, I have, but I don't understand it. So then I was led to a Bible college in my teens to read and study the Bible. And that's how I grew in the Lord. And now I am into uh, intercessory prayer. And I have my intercessory prayer people come every Wednesday to pray for all the, the uh, requests that come in on three services on Sunday. That's what we do. Well, the greatest joy in my life is to tell people about Jesus. And when they receive Jesus and when they're open to that, it gives me more joy than anything else in this world. And, and when they receive Jesus, that's the greatest joy I have. And so my heart right now and my, my desire is to see people come to Jesus and make him real in their hearts and lives. Uh, you know, his will is that none perish, but all come to repentance. And uh, like Jesus said, go you into all the world and preach the gospel. So that's my desire, is to reach people for the Lord so that they might come to know him. Well, to all who don't know Jesus, he's the answer. He's the answer. We all have problems. Everybody has problems. But he's the answer to every problem that we have. He's the answer. And he'll bring you joy and peace and such love in your hearts that you never had before. He can change your heart and make you a new person and he can take care of all the sins, diseases and any problem that you might have. He's the answer. Thank you so much Doris for sharing. I, 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 I love how you spoke about uh, being a Christian and then understanding what that meant. But not only was your dream to be a good Christian but you're now enjoying your dream of being that Christian or someone who believes in Jesus Christ. And now you're reaching out to more people and many people are coming to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Thank you so much for sharing. 
and sharing your dream and enjoying your dream. In fact, this week we had many graduate uh, yesterday and this entire week, but even last week with our college students and our high schoolers, you are now entering into a place where hopefully you're pursuing your dreams. And so we just wanted to say congratulations to our college graduates as well as our high school graduates. Can we just congratulate them as well as the parents, grandparents, aunties and uncles and everyone else who have uh, played a part in your lives. Today, Pastor Alex will be talking about just that right there. It's enjoying the dream. We all have dreams. We have a journey that we're on. Some of us are on uh, one path only to find out that it's not the best path. But Pastor Alex is going to bring us the Word of God in helping us to understand what it means to enjoy the dream. Would you welcome with me our former senior pastor, Pastor Alex Pacheco. <laughs> 